Well, hi guys, just a quick one on Camilla and I this morning um, on something I use all the time, and that's the Stealth Gear Trolley. And uh, yeah, what a superb product it is. So uh, anyway, I've just checked my accounts and uh, I purchased this on the 9th of March, 2018 this very trolley here. It makes it just under four years old. So anyway, I've bought an upgrade. Well, I've bought the latest model. Um, it's almost exactly the same as the last one, except it comes in black and uh, it's got a slightly longer sunshade. And if you order it through photo specialists for the bargain price of £107.95, you will not get 10% off because I'm not sponsored in any way, shape nor form by photo specialist, or have I got any particular interest in this trolley. So uh, this is an unbiased, completely independent advice on the Stealth Gear trolley. So uh, yeah, watch on if you're interested in a trolley. First question to answer is, why get a wildlife trolley for your photography gear in the first place, or even a a trolley to carry your photographic equipment. Well, to be honest, 90% of the places we go on Camilla and I, as you know, if you watch the channel regularly, we do accessible wildlife photography. And most of the places you can take a trolley quite easily along paths, roads, etc. And indeed, you can even mount a gate with a trolley. You don't put the whole trolley over the gate. You just unload it and put it back the other side. It's not really a problem. And um, it doubles as a seat. So we sit for hours sometimes in wildlife photography and uh, you've got a lovely comfortable seat, especially if you use the German mat, which I'll, I'll review the German army mat at some point as well. Awesome. Um, so it also doubles as a hide. I mean, you can put this bit up here put a bit of camo netting over the top and you've got a hide. Oh, superb. So uh, yeah, all for the bargain price of the trolley. Come on, I should be a salesman really, shouldn't I? Okay, anyway, that's the reason you need a trolley. You need to save your back. Anything like me, you're getting older. Oh, and uh, starting to crumble. Oh, painful. But um, it's not just that. Old sports injury of mine. Ooh, piggyback races when we were practicing for football. Whew, fortunately, I retired at 27. But uh, yeah, I remember the training days when we did these piggyback rides. And uh, well, it was fine for the guy who was carrying me. I only weighed 10 stone. But the guy I was carrying, I asked him and uh, he weighed 13 stone. Not clever. Don't think it would be in the practice manual now for um, footballers, but uh, yeah. Anyway, that's why we use a trolley on Camilla and I. Ooh, useful. So why do I use the Stealth Gear trolley? Well, I think it's better than the Eckler trolley I'm sitting on. So uh, this is the first time I've used this Eckler trolley for a couple of years. Um, mm, yeah, sort of comfortable. Anyway, um, besides the point, waffling on here, waffling on, sorry. Stealth Gear trolley. So we use um, this particular one because it's lightweight. I mean, I can pick that up with um, oh, oh, just about one hand. Yeah, just about one hand. Um, it folds away. It's quite a clever feature. You actually pull these uh, two things here and the back folds down. So the sunshade folds down and it folds in on itself. And this can easily stow in a car. So uh, the, also the tires are removable. So you can just unplug these bits here and um, take the tire off easily if it's got muddy. So you can put that in a separate bag in the car. Superb. Um, <clears throat> yep, anyway, pop it back up. And uh, yeah, it's simple. It does the job. Basically, there's a basket, a sort of place where you put all your bags, etc. Stick your tripod along here. You could tie it off here if you wanted to. And um, yeah, enough room to hold everything. And you just wheel it along in a very nice cantilevered fashion, which really takes the weight off the back and off the gear.
So uh, yeah, it comes in green, uh, which is superb. It's now got this black frame, it was silver, and um, it's slightly got a longer handle and um, a uh, higher up sunscreen. But apart from that, it's exactly the same as the trolley we bought four years ago. And uh, the price has come down. Four years ago, I bought this very trolley here on my left for uh, 135 pounds. And this one, say now, is only 108 pounds, including postage from photo specialists. So uh, yeah, grab a bargain while you can. It's not much you can say that in the last four years has gone down in value. So uh, yeah, grab it now. This also supports 17 stone. So if you weigh 17 stone, you'll be fine in here. And I certainly haven't got 17 stone of camera equipment. Well, at least I hope not. Anyway, so there we are. That's the Stealth Gear trolley. That's why we use this one. The one I'm sitting on is far heavier, the Eckler trolley. And um, anyway, yeah, yeah, watch, watch the review. If you want to see the Eckler trolley, um, it does go on a bit, I warn you. I do, it is, is quite an involved, quite an involved review, the Eckler trolley. So uh, yeah, get a stiff drink in if you watch that one. Anyway, yeah, so uh, that's why we go for the Stealth Gear trolley. Absolutely superb. Right, there is a problem though, as you may have guessed. Um, four years old, that's not tremendous for a piece of equipment, but you have to remember a trolley is full of moving parts. So why have I had to buy a brand new trolley after only four years of service? Well, <clears throat> to be honest, um, it started falling apart after about a year, um, this Stealth Gear trolley. And um, from what I can see, this 2022 version of the Stealth Gear trolley is almost identical in construction to the one I bought four years ago, apart from the natty black paint and the extended handle and sunscreen. So um, yeah, I suspect it will last for a similar period of time. And indeed, um, it's the vibration, I suppose. It's the number of moving parts. Um, after two years, for example, I could no longer fold it in half to put it in the car. I had to put the whole thing in the car. And um, the string bits, these little string bits, these fell off. Um, various little screws and whatnot, little screws fell out, um, linked to screws falling out. Um, so yeah, nothing lasts forever, I suppose. And uh, certainly in the lifespan of a trolley, I mean, if I think how much it saved my back, um, I suppose it's been a very good investment, but in terms of durability, I would give the Stealth Gear trolley about ooh, five out of ten, I should think. And um, obviously, you have got limitations with a trolley. There are some places you can't take it. Muddy fields, for example, I was recently tested in Norfolk on uh, my Norfolk Adventures. Remember, watch the video on uh, my Norfolk photography capers. Um, but I did take the Stealth Gear trolley with me everywhere. I took this trolley with me everywhere. And um, yeah, it didn't let me down, but it did get clogged up with mud on a couple of occasions. And the jet wash came in very useful at the service station. So uh, yeah, remember that jet wash. So um, yeah, I mean, there are limitations to using a trolley. Just like any piece of equipment, you know, you have to, you have to adapt it to your own requirements and you have to appreciate its limitations and its strengths and weaknesses like everybody else. So that's why I bought a new one um, because um, yeah, basically the uh, old one's wearing out and obviously the old one I will use for spare parts. And uh, I mean, essentially it still works. I mean, you, you know, I uh, just towed it around Norfolk for uh, for a whole week, um, so uh, yeah, um, yeah, it's still there after four years, and uh, perhaps you treat your equipment more carefully than me. 
So yours may last a lot longer. But that's it. That's it in a nutshell. That's a trolley. So to sum up, in my opinion, this stealth gear trolley has been designed more with the photographer in mind and its simple construction just being the one seat and one basket rather than having the seat on the back of the trolley like the one I'm sitting on and a separate seat for your luggage. Um, this simpler design makes it cheaper and um, indeed more sort of accessible and durable and of course a lot cheaper. I think uh, the one I'm sitting on with all the accessories was nearly £300 and um, this one here say is currently £108 from photo specialists. No sponsorship. Anyway, um, yeah, so for about oh, 50p a week um, for four years, this trolley has saved my back no end. So uh, thanks Delft Gear and I suppose that's why I'm doing the review really because uh, yeah, you have um, certainly helped me out in the past. Yeah, so there's no lifetime guarantee with the Stealth Gear trolley, but um, well, in life, are there any guarantees? Uh, we're all falling apart. Uh, so I recommend the Stealth Gear trolley. Now, please let me know in the comments below if you know another maker trolley that doesn't fall apart after four years, and then we can inform everybody else of the uh, of that one. Um, but for me, the best of the bunch at the moment is the Stealth Gear trolley. So, uh, yeah, absolutely brilliant. Anyway, yeah, bye for now. Thanks for watching a Camilla and I special review on something we use all the time. Awesome.